Hey guys. Hey, how's it going? We're at TJ's room. <laughs> how you doing, bud? Doing pretty good. How about yourself, man? I'm I'm doing <laughs> great. And I'm going to be doing better as soon as we get this beer poured. Yeah, definitely. What beer are we drinking? Oh, it's Lion's Head. <laughs> so, I'm pretty sure this is a regional beer. It definitely is. Um, and for the heads up, we're from Pennsylvania. Yeah, we are P... Uh, um, I, I think we've said a lot in Dave's videos. Yeah, but, we're PA yeah. local. Yeah. Um, but this is from uh, Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania. It's called Lion's Shout Head. Shout out to my fellow PA brothers. <laughs> it's, it's called Lion's Head. It's Lion's Head. It's a deluxe pilsner. And uh, it's at about 4.5% alcohol. Um, yeah, I guess it's like a traditional beer for around it's, here. It's, it's a deluxe pilsner, mm -hmm. so it's going to be, you know, a smoother, lighter. Um, from what, when I first had it, this was the college beer. Definitely. Well, it still is, I, I feel like, for the most part. A, a lot of colleges, like, drink a lot of PBR and stuff, but, mm -hmm. you know, you throw it local here, it's it's the lion's head, you know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, yeah. Especially of all the local, like, universities mm -hmm. and colleges, like... The, I still feel like it is the go-to like party beer besides Pabst. Now so. this is the can. Um, a lot of people drink it out of the bottles because the bottles are just as cheap. Mm -hmm. The bottles have fun little puzzles underneath the caps. You can sit there and they get. E Some people they get easier the more beer you drink. Some people they get harder. It's all <laughs> up to you. But uh, they they also come in powder cans, which is mm -hmm. awesome. Props to them. And it's just super cheap. It's like fifteen bucks a case cheap. Mm -hmm. I mean, we we did PBR, and that was we paid twenty for ours. Mm -hmm. So, and here's where we start really liking it. Let let's get into the beer. Yeah, definitely. Now you there's an actual nose to it. It's there sweet. Is. There it's a sugary nose. It smells mm -hmm. like beer. That's what I I could say. It definitely does. Um... And you can smell some hoppiness in there, very light, but the malt. fact that, yeah, more malty, I suppose. Um, but I think the fact that you can even smell something <laughs> is an improvement over yeah. most other cheap. Oh beers. Yeah. yeah, we did National Bohemian, and we did yeah. PBR. We did, a, and we even did Budweiser, and a lot of them didn't even have a nose. It just smelled like water, oh, yeah. or like a really bizarre chemical smell. This yeah. one. You actually get a beer smell out of it. Yeah. There's sugar, uh, there's malt. Um, yeah, you can smell, smell that sweetness in there for sure. Okay. Um, but it is a cheap beer, so let's not waste too much time on it. Yeah. But there is a beer, a good beer smell to it. It's mm -hmm. not bad. More than most. Yeah. Cheap beers, yeah. So. so we do a lot of craft brews around here. and you got to remember, this is a cheap beer, so if you're looking for a craft brew complex flavor out of it, you're going to be sorely disappointed. Yeah, I mean... But... I'm you sorry. Can, you can finish. You can yeah, finish. I was going <laughs> to... But there is a flavor to it. There definitely is. Um, I think you're absolutely right. You know, it's, it's going to be nowhere near on the levels most craft brews, at least yeah. the ones that we have reviewed on uh, on YouTube and everything. And uh, yeah, I mean, with that being said, it's still a good beer, especially considering how cheap it is. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you have a flavor. Um, and I think the flavor itself is, like, I don't know. It's, it's sweeter. Yeah, it stands out the most cheap beer, just like how yeah. it smells. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's sweeter, it's light, it's, it's a little crisp, it's it's mm -hmm. it's almost refreshing. I could it say it's refreshing. refreshing. Mm -hmm. It it for fifteen bucks to go out and buy. You it's really cheap. can't beat no, that. It it's yeah. gonna get some high marks just because of those three factors. It's actually got a decent nose, decent flavor for cheap beer. That's parentheses cheap beer, mm -hmm. and it's cheap. Yeah, and I think another thing to note too is that as a pilsner. Um, it actually tastes pretty similar to most, like, um, most craft beers that are, most fellow craft beers that are Pilsners as yeah. well. I mean, seriously, I've tasted my, uh, fair share of just Pilsners from, like, microbreweries and stuff like that, and for the most part, this isn't really that much different than beers. Oh, really? Well, from, like, Pilsner beers. 
Oh yeah, of course. From of course. Uh, microbreweries yeah. and whatnot. You know, like the I guess those types of beers would be more along the lines of craft beer, but yeah, for the most part, this has so a pretty similar taste. So that's where Pilsner. Pilsner's goes. They're light. They're they're sweet. They're kind of refreshing. Well, Pilsner, yeah, Pilsner's pretty similar to uh, a lager. Yeah, uh, it's a very light beer. Although they tend to be sweeter than lager, lagers, um, but for the most part, they're going to be light and very smooth. Uh, they tend to have a very light color. color well, that's too, really like awesome that, that that this really compares to ex more expensive beers. I mean. It does. Um, and, and the Pilsner category. Category. <laughs> With that being said, I mean, you can definitely find some better uh, Pilsners from microbreweries. But if you um, do you want to spend that money? That's a good point. I mean, the fact of the matter is is that this is a very cheap beer. But if this could get you... It has a good taste for it. and 75% of the way, and this is, what, 40 cents a can or something like that? Not even um, that. It's 24 pack for 15 bucks. Mm -hmm. That's like we're bad at math. Yeah, we can't do the math right now. But yeah, but then you pay, you know, 20, 30, 40 bucks for, for 24 mm -hmm. beers. Looking for of a, a craft brew pilsner. Yeah. I mean, like I said, you can definitely. But that's why we do these reviews to mm -hmm. kind of bust that little like, oh well, do I need to spend this much money? Yeah. I mean, like I said, you could definitely find better Pilsners out there, but the fact of the matter is, is yeah, this is cheap, uh, it's affordable, and it has a good taste to it. Yep, it's it's quite for tasty it for how, the price. Yeah. So, with that being said, um, I'm going to give a 7. I'm at a 7 with really? it. Really? Uh, okay. I know, I know. <laughs> I know TJ's a craft brew person, so he's like, oh, well, the flavor and everything. I'm saying you can't beat the price. You definitely can't. I mean, you can't beat the price for the product you get. <laughs> you can't really emphasize that any greater. I mean, the price is just really, in my opinion, it makes up for a good majority of what the beer is, besides the taste and everything else. Um, with my score, I probably would have to give it six and a half, um, mostly because, um, you know, it's a good Pilsner, um, but if you're really looking for something that's probably going to stand out, be more, I don't know, more unique in its taste. I mean, you can find better Pilsners out there, I guess. Yeah, I I, I, I'll go um, low end to seven at that. I'll go okay, well, low seven, mid six, just because you are exactly right. You, you're completely right. It there, Especially if you're kind of like us and you, you drink all different kinds of beers and you like craft brews and you're expecting some sort of phenomenal flavor. Yeah. For sure. Um, I mean, it it has a good taste to it, but it's not anything that's going to, like, stand out. It's, it's a good beer for the price. Yeah. That's, that's all we, we have to say. Good. I'm at low 7 for it just because of the price, and it does have a flavor. TG's at mid-6 for the same reason. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to rate this. This was a great video. you want to comment. Awesome job. It, come on, especially my PA friends out there. PA people, how many of these have you drank? What, what, do you, do you love this? Um, okay, I also want to know, how far away is this, like, available as this is? If, if you're, if this I'm is... I'm actually kind of curious about that, yeah, too. If you're how not local Pen is it? If you're not in yeah. Pennsylvania, and you've seen this or drank this, let us know. Yeah. Because okay? I'm, I'm really curious about it. All right, check out the Facebook, let us know. We, we, we talk all kinds of craziness on Facebook. And as always, peace be with you. Later on.